Hello students, let's do ratio and proportion exercise 10C. This is found on page number 117. Question 1, 120 rupees is to be divided between Hari and Gopi in the ratio 5 is to 3. How much does each get? Let's start. The amount to be divided is 120 rupees. The sum of the ratio. So let's take the ratio 5 is to 3 and find the sum. That means we add up. We add up 5 plus 3 and the sum is 8. Now we need to find how much hurry gets. So take the first term of the ratio which is 5, divide it by the sum of the ratios which is 8 and multiply it by the amount which is 120. So 5 by 8 into 120. Now we can cancel. I can cancel 8. 1s are 8. And 120 also by 8. Let's divide 120 by 8 and see what we get. So the number is 12. 8 1s are 8 minus 12 minus 8 is 4. I bring down 0. It's 40. 8 5s are 40. So that means... 8 into 15 will give us 120. So this is 15. Now let's multiply 15 into 5. 15 fives are 75. So Hari gets 75 rupees. Now let's see the amount Gopi gets. Let's take the second term of the ratio which is 3 but divided by the sum of the ratios multiplied by the amount which is rupees 120. So let's cancel 8 and 120. 8 ones are 8 and 8 fifteens are 120. Now let's multiply the numerators. 15 threes are 45. That means the amount that Gopi gets is 45 rupees. So you can check your answer by adding 75 rupees and 45 rupees. Question 2. Divide 72 in the ratio 2, 1 by 2 is to 1, 1 by 2. So what is the quantity to be divided? It's 72. What are the ratios? 2, 1 by 2 is to 1, 1 by 2. Now whenever we have fractions as ratios, let's divide, uh, reduce them to the lowest term. So 2, 1 by 2 is to 1, 1 by 2. First step, convert them. So when I convert, 2 2s are 4 plus 1, I get 5 by 2 is 2. 2 1s are 2 plus 1, 3 by 2. Then, since this is ratio, it is also division. 5 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. Now, this has become division of fractions. How do I do division of fractions? 5 by 2, I change division to multiplication. And I write the reciprocal of 3 by 2. It becomes 2 by 3. Now I can cancel. I can cancel this 2 and this 2. So what do I get? 5 by 3. So if I change that to a ratio, it is 5 is to 3. So now the ratios here have become 5 is to 3. Now I can find the sum of the ratios. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. That's the sum of the ratios. To find the first quantity, take the first term, that is 5, divide it by 8 and multiply it with the quantity, that is 72. Now let's cancel. 8 1s are 8, 8 9s are 72. So 5 9s are 45. So the first quantity is 45. The second quantity, take the, take the second term of the ratio and the sum of the ratio divided by that, multiply it by other quantity. Now cancel, 8 1s are 8, 8 9s are 72. Now let's multiply, 9 3s are 27. So we found the first quantity to be 45 and the second quantity to be 27. Again, you can check, add up both, it should give you 72. Question 3. Divide 81 into 3 parts in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. So let's start. The quantity to be divided is 81. 
the sum of the ratios, we take the terms there, we add it up 2 plus 3 plus 4. So this becomes 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. So to find the first part, take the first term, which is 2, divided by the sum of the ratios, multiply it by 81. Now cancel. I can cancel 9, 9 1s are 9, 9 9s are 81. So let's multiply 9, 2s are 18. So we've got the first part to be 18. Second part, take the second term which is 3 divided by the sum of the ratios, multiply it by the quantity given and now cancel. 9 1s are 9, 9 9s are 81. 9 3s are 27. So the second part is 27. Third part, take the third term which is 4 divided by the sum of the ratios, multiply it by the quantity given, now cancel. 9 1s are 9, 9 9s are 81. Now 9 4s are 36. So we've got three parts now. The first part is 18, second part is 27 and the third part is 36. Question 4. Divide 10,400 rupees among A, B and C in the ratio 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4. What is the amount to be divided? 10,400 rupees. Now the ratios are 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4. So when there are three ratio, terms in a ratio given to us, let's find the LCM of the denominators first. So 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4. Let's find the LCM. 2, 3 and 4. The LCM, let's start. 2 1s are 2, 3, 2 2s are 4, then 2 again, 1, 3, 1. Now I'll use 3, 1, 3 1s are 3, 1. So what is my LCM? 2 into 2 into 3. 2 2s are 4, 4 3s are 12. So my LCM is 12. Now I'm going to use that LCM now to get my three ratios in the simplest form. So 1 by 2 is the first term. Multiply it by the LCM. Cancel. 2 1s are 2, 2 6s are 12. So 1 6s are 6. That is the first term in my ratio. So that was 6 is 2. Now the next one, I'll write it by the side here. Okay, now I'll take the next one. 1 by 3, this is the second term. 1 by 3, multiply it by the LCM. Cancel 3 and 12. 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12. And 4 1s are 4. I've got my second term. Let me write it here, 4. Now I'm going to take the third one. 1 by 4 into LCM. Cancel. 4 1s are 4, 4 3s are 12. Now 3 1s are 3. So I have got my third term also 3. Now I'm going to find the sum of the ratios. So 6 plus 4 plus 3 is 13. So I've got the sum of the ratios. Now A, I want to see how much A gets. So A is 6 by 13 into 10,400. 6 by 13 into 10,400. Now I can cancel 13 and 400. 10,400. 13 ones are 13. Now 10,400, let's divide it by 13 and see whether it is divisible. So 13, 1 I can't divide, 10 I can't, now I take 104. 13 into 8 is 104. Okay, 13 eights are 104, so I've got 0. Now I carry this up and I carry that up. So I get 800. That means 13 into 800 is 10,400. So I finish the cancelling. Now let me multiply. 6 into 800. So let me multiply 6 into 8. 6 eights are 48 and I add the two zeros. 
So I have got 4,800. This is the amount that A gets, rupees 4,800. Now B, how much does B get? What is the second term of the ratio? 4. 4 by the sum of the ratios into 10,400. Since we've already divided 10,400 by 13, you don't have to do it again. We can cancel straight away. 13 ones are 13 and 13 into 800, just like the previous one. Now, let's multiply 4 into 800. 4 eights are 32. Then we add the two zeros. Now, this is 3,200 rupees. So, B gets 3,200 rupees. Now C, take the third term of the ratio, which is 3, 3 by 13 into 10,400. Okay, so again, here I can cancel 13 ones are 13 and 13 into 800. Now I need to multiply 3 into 800. Now 3 eights are, 8 threes are 24, add the two zeros. So now I know how much C gets. C gets 2,400 rupees. So I have all of you seen how I got this. Now what is the amount that A gets? A gets 4,800 rupees. B gets 3,200 rupees. And C gets 2,400 rupees. Again, the way for you to check is you can add up all three numbers. It should give you that first amount, 10,000. 400. Question 5. A profit of 2,500 rupees is to be shared among three persons in the ratio 6 is to 9 is to 10. How much does each person get? Okay, profit to be shared is 2,500 rupees. So that's 2,500 rupees. Sum of the ratios, so let's add it up. 6 is to 9, that is 6 plus 9 plus 10. 6 plus 9 is 15 and 15 plus 10 is 25. So we've got the sum of the ratios. Now the first person, how much does the first person get? Let me take the first term, divide it by the sum of the ratios, multiply it by the amount that is 2,500. Now cancel. 25 ones are 25. Here also 25 ones. Then I put the zero and the zero. That means 25 into 100 gives me 2500. Now I must multiply the numerators. 6 into 100 which is 600. So the first person gets a profit of 600 rupees. The second person, take the second term of the ratio, that's 9 by the sum of the ratios into the, the profit that's given, 2,500. Again, let's cancel. 25 ones are 25. 25 into 100 is 2,500. Now, when we multiply 9 into 100, we get 900. So, 900 rupees is the amount that the second person gets. Now the third person, let's take the third term which is 10 divided by the sum of the ratios 25 multiply it by the amount 2500. Let's cancel 25 ones are 25 and 25 into 100. So when you multiply this you get. So now let's multiply 10 into 100. 10 into 100, when you multiply, ignore the zeros, just multiply the numbers. 1, 1, sir, 1. Now put all the zeros. 1, 2, 3. 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. So the third person gets 1,000 rupees. So now we know how much each person gets. The first person gets 600 rupees. The second person gets 900 rupees. And the third person gets 1,000 rupees. And you can check your answer by adding all this. You must get 2,500 rupees. So children, we'll stop with that for now. In our next video, we'll continue with the other exercises. Thank you, children.